Good morning, Facebook. You might be asking yourself, why in the heck is Alicia doing a Facebook Live at not even 7 o'clock in the morning? Well, I thought maybe um, a lesson that I'm getting right now would be a lesson that would be useful to all of you, especially first thing in the morning. So um, yesterday I found out that I wasn't selected to give um, a TEDx talk in Greensboro. And uh, yeah, self-worth stuff comes up with that. And um, it's a bummer, right? I thought I had a really good idea. I have no idea exactly what they're looking for in their prior priority. Um, what they're looking for and it's just a real big bummer right good morning Beth um, but it's not that this was the first time that this has happened I've applied now multiple times this is like the second or third time that I've applied with them to do a TEDx and not gotten it um, so I could go down a hole right now and I could say well I didn't get this there's some other things in my life that are kind of bumming me out right now. And I could just like go down a sinkhole of not feeling worthy, not feeling. And Jada Monica Drew was in here yesterday. She wrote a book, um, More Than Enough. I could go down this hole of not feeling like I am enough. Um, but that's a choice. So yes, it's okay to be a little bummed out if there's something that's not going your way right now, but it's not okay to go down a hole like that. And I'm not talking about like depression. Depression's a totally different thing, but I'm talking about like when a series of things don't go the way you want them to go, then um, it is a bummer. It's a major bummer. Um, but just because it's a major bummer doesn't mean that you want to choose to get sucked into that hole, to get sucked into that I am not enough, I'm not good enough, these things aren't going the way I am. So I think you have to think about the end game instead and think about what it is that you're building. And maybe I didn't get this TEDx Greensboro talk, but what other talks do I want to give? Let any disappointment be motivation to go after what you want a little bit harder. Um, to focus on that end goal of what it is that you're building. I think that's really important. Like for instance, um, you know, I want to speak a lot of places on a regular basis. So if that's what I want, then I have to focus on, okay, well, where have I spoken in the past? Where do I play well? You know, just because it's not TEDx Greensboro this time doesn't mean that, you know, I've applied to them three times. So maybe I need to look at a TEDx somewhere else, right? Um, maybe I need to think about, you know, TEDx Toledo or who knows, whatever it is. But looking at the places where I think that my message might play well and double down on applying there. So not letting one setback completely set me back for good um, or let it like take me down in the knees so I don't keep going forward. So today's message to all of you paying attention is that if there's something that you really want and you're going for and you didn't get, um, first off, I'm sorry, it sucks. Like take a half a minute, two minutes, whatever you need to throw yourself a tiny little pity party and say, you know what, this sucks, it doesn't feel good. Um, maybe it's like, who knows what it is, but it might not feel very good. And to just allow yourself to feel that feeling for a little bit, but don't get stuck there. Don't stay there. Instead, make a plan and see what you're going to do next and know that the next one you might not get either, but the point is to try. The point is to keep going. The point is to do it. So um, that is my unsolicited advice for you this morning. 
get not, you know, it's that um, Japanese saying, um, get knocked down seven times, get up eight, right? Like we're going to get knocked down a lot. Get back up, dust yourself off, try, try again. That's what I got for you. Try, try again. See y'all later. Hope you have a fantastic Tuesday. Oh, and it's podcast day. Listen to the podcast, the Waves to Wisdom podcast. Oh, excuse me, my podcast, Wise Women podcast. I'm interviewing Maya Deary, who has the Ways to Wisdom podcast. She is on the podcast today. I think you'll really love her message. So if you're going to be in the car, it's about an hour long today. It is worth every single second. You're going to want to listen to that one to the end because Maya is absolutely brilliant. So I hope you enjoy it. I will talk to you soon. Have a fantastic day. I love you all. Bye.